Hey guys, Sam here from Speedline Technology. Unless you've been living in a cave for the past few months, you should know that Christmas is almost here. So today I'm going to be presenting to you our Christmas gift guide for 2014. So let's get straight into this. So as I said just before the intro, today I'm going to be presenting our Christmas gift guide for 2014 and we do one of these every year and I normally put them into categories. So on my phone right here I have a PDF file which will be linked down in the description below and we have four categories which contain 15 items in total, not each in total. Phones, tablets, computers and gadgets. So let's start off in the phones category. So number one we have the LG G3. The LG G2 was a massive hit and once again the LG G3 is at the top of the charts. It's pretty thin and feels great in the hand, especially with such a great design. The phone retails for £475. Um, and yeah, it's been rated one of the top Android phones of 2014 so far but there's still December to go yet but I'm not sure if they'll release any phones now this year um, they'll probably be waiting until January or February now um, next up on the list I have the Apple iPhone 6 it's slick with a high quality finish with this bigger iPhone sitting nicely in the hand it looks great and it feels great too some say it's the best iPhone yet but in my opinion I still prefer the iPhone 5S the product retails for £599 up to £769 depending on which capacity model you get so that's it for the phones category I know there's only two but I went with an Android and an Apple I'm not a big fan of Windows phones so that's why there's no Windows phones in the list uh, next up in tablets, again I only have two, one Android and one uh, Apple. So I have the Tesco Huddle 2 to start with. The Tesco Huddle 2 has a sturdy and fun design, a decent 8.3 inch screen and retails for an incredibly cheap price at £129. It is aimed at children but it's definitely a tablet that anyone can use. And secondly I have the iPad Air 2 from Apple. The iPad Air 2 is Apple's finest tablet device yet. It's extremely light and has an amazing retina display. And the one thing I posted on Twitter recently that I don't understand is why the iPads are priced like almost half the price of iPhones. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, the Apple iPad Air retails for £399 to £559 depending on the capacity you get and the Tesco Huddle 2 only comes in 16 gigabytes. Uh, next up in the computers category once again I only have two but the gadgets category has about nine different products in. Computers we have the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 which is a Microsoft Windows 8 computer. Not only does it look and feel even better it packs improvements to the attachable keyboard and has a super high res 12 inch display. It comes with a touch sensitive stylus for drawing or taking notes and retails for £639 in the UK. Uh, next up we have the Apple 13 inch MacBook Pro with Retina display. I know this was first released back in 2012 but with the new OS X Yosemite operating system it packs some great features. The MacBook Pro with Retina display is a top shelf laptop with a world class display. It isn't cheap but it's worth it and it retails for £999 up to £1399 again depending on the capacity you get of storage space. And then finally the last category which is the biggest category yet, I've got about three pages for this category, is gadgets. And first up is a product I recently reviewed which is the Lumsing 10,400 mAh external battery. The Lumsing 10,400 mAh harmonica style portable power bank is constructed using plastic but with three different finishes. A glossy white, a brushed metallic style plastic and a graphite coloured matte plastic. The charm of this product is that it has an LED meter which in illuminates when you press the button, allowing you to see how much percent of battery you have left. Overall this is a very elegant device with a very portable and ergonomic design. Fit for everyone and anyone who has a modern day phone. For the low price you can't go wrong. This product is such a great value for money and it's definitely a stocking filler. It costs only £21.99 on Amazon UK. Next up is a product which I'm yet to review, it's still on my desk and it's the next video coming next week which is the Energy System Music Box BZ3 Bluetooth. This Bluetooth speaker features a great design with a whole load of amazing features. The SD card port and USB port are definitely a great touch. Stay tuned on this channel for my full review coming next week and this retails for only £30 and believe me it is amazing. 
Next up we have the Misfit Flash, a sleek sporty tracker that measures your activity and sleep. It syncs with your smartphone and comes in a variety of different colours. It never requires charging and is made of rugged yet ultra com comfortable soft touch materials. It's basically a cheaper version of the Misfit Shine which was my first uh, review when we revamped um, the brand. But yeah, this product costs £50 and it's about half price compared to the normal one. I think the normal one is either £99 or £79, something similar to that. But this is the cheapest, I believe this is the cheapest high quality tracker you can buy on the market at the moment. Next up I have the brand new GoPro Hero. The entry level Hero offers 1080p HD recording at 30fps or 720 footage at 60 FPS. Unlike the other cameras in the range, comes with GoPro's rugged skeleton case rated fully waterproof down to 40 meters and only costs £99, which is definitely the cheapest uh, GoPro at the moment. Next up we have the Audio-Technica ATH M50X Studio Monitor Professional Headphones. The ATH M50 is praised by top audio engineers and pro audio reviewers year after year. Now the ATH M50X Professional Monitor Headphones feature the same coveted sonic signature with the added feature of detachable cables. From the large aperture drivers, sound isolating ear cups and robust construction, the M50X provides an unmatched experience for the most critical audio professionals. And this product is pretty high in price but at £110 but it's still cheaper than my next product which is the Beats Solo 2. The Solo 2's have a more dynamic wider range of sound with a clarity that will bring you closer to what the artist intended you to hear. Also they are engineered specially for comfort and come in a range of different colours including a Hello Kitty version and these retail for £169. Next up we have an interesting product which is the Nest Learning Thermostat. You must have heard of this by now, it's advertised everywhere. The Nest Learning Thermostat have already been hooked up to the ecosystem that will connect all the world's technology giving you more control of how long to keep the heat and can assist you in lowering your heating bill. Besides its main function that lets you control the heat anywhere in your home from your smartphone, the Nest also comes with a humidity sensor to hook up your humidifier or dehumidifier has free temperature sensors and even a Wi-Fi radio but it does retail for £179 which is definitely a lot higher than your little white box on the wall and an interest, another interesting thing about the Nest Learning Thermostat is it's made a lot of appearances on TV shows recently and one of them is Modern Family. The 14th item on my list is the Moto 360. The Moto 360 is Android Wear's first head-turning smartwatch backed by Google's intelligent software. It has practical information on the virtual dial and a fashionable design. And it retails for £200 which is a little bit cheaper than the last product on my list which is the LG G Watch R. The LG G Watch R isn't as big as it looks in the pictures, it's about the same size as the Moto 360 and it doesn't look out of place on average sized wrists. It is a little thick but that's expected with this moment's technology. It does however feel solid and well made with a strong metal casing. Anyway, that's it. That's all 15 items on the Christmas gift guide for 2014. And they, um, there you go, now it's focused. Yeah, they will all be linked down in the description below, including a link to a page on our website which will contain the full list. Yeah, but anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.